Yo, what's going on guys, man? It's your boy, Dignified TW. We are back with another video, guys. Today, we're here with a heavily requested player build. I think this could honestly be a super fun offensive build, especially on NBA 2K20. Now, I know Ronnie2K kind of said there's going to be a lot of different pie charts added to the game later on, but today, I think this is going to be a perfect representation of Nikola Jokic. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, but let's go ahead and get right into the play. All right, so what you're going to want to choose here, now, a lot of people might think you just want to choose the primary playmaking because Jokic is a great playmaker and of course your post moves is like a 95 but if you do this you're kind of lacking on the three point and the post fade and you know Jokic is dominating the post great post player so in my opinion the best one for him and is still really good is going to be a mixture between the playmaking and the shooting now if you do this like I said you're going to get a good fadeaway and good post moves but guys, if you know anything about Jokic, he's by far not fast at all. He's not a fast player. So if when you're doing this, you kind of want to like, you know, still do a perfect representation of him. So we're going to give him pretty good strength because he is a big player. But then we're also going to give him some speed that's not very good. So we're going to go with the 55 speed. Actually, we're going to go with the 60 speed right here because the vertical is kind of low because he is still kind of mobile, but he's definitely not the fastest. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, when you're setting these guys, this is what's important. You want to make sure you're maxing out the playmaking first. You want to get all these playmaking badges that you can. Max all that out. You want to go ahead and max out all the fades. You want to max out the free throw because you want all the shooting badges because Jokic has a lot of different badges on here. And especially since deep fades and all that all go under shooting, you want to make sure you're maxing this out. So the next thing I would definitely do for the finishing would give them you know, some, you know, you gotta give the shot close because if you're not doing that correctly, then it could be a GG. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and not max this out, but probably put it to 60 and probably put this one to 50. So now we're kind of just chilling. We got 150 more of these attributes, and this is where you want to kind of start applying things to defense because you guys know if you don't have good defense this year, it's not gonna be good for you. You want to make sure you do the interior defense, you want to make sure you're doing the offensive rebounding and all that kind of stuff like that. And then next, you could probably go down and you could either apply some to the finishing or you could go back and start applying some to the defense, which I would recommend doing like right here. Boom, we're going to get three defensive badges. So not too bad. You know, no, Jokic isn't like the best defender by any means. But when it comes to versatility and actually being able to use this build in the park, this is something that you want to make sure you're doing. Boom. You already know his, his player build is definitely burly. He is seven foot tall, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. He's around 250, 249, so we'll max it out right there. Now, this is what I would do, guys. You can see going down two on your wingspan, you're getting a better three pointer, and you're getting better post moves. So that's what I would recommend doing. And you guys can see right here, we're getting the playmaking and we're getting post scoring takeover. I'm just gonna do playmaking to see if you could break ankles with this. You guys know the center builds were nasty last year. So, as you guys can see, we got Nikola Vucevic, which is also another great player, Nikola Jokic, and Al Horford. So we're going to be able to finish around the rim, hopefully. And we're also going to be able to shoot the ball, play make, and we have so many badges for shooting, playmaking, and defense. So this build actually is going to be pretty nasty, I do think. All right, guys, so this is going to be the interesting part. We're going to start applying all the badges. You can see we've got 22 shooting, 21 playmaking, 3 defense, and then we don't really have anything for finishing just because, you know, I don't know, man. I think this is going to be the perfect representation for him. Now, you could argue that you could go back and put one on, like, standing dunk and all that kind of stuff. But I honestly don't think standing dunk is that important this year, especially with the way this player build is actually supposed to play. So you could either do, I would recommend back down punisher or contact finisher. There's a lot of ones that you can kind of do, like slithery finisher, giant slayer. I'm going to go ahead and do back down punisher right here just because you are a post scorer, and that is going to help your post game a little bit. Now, we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go with the less one. We're going to do defense. Now, in my opinion, guys, the best one that I've seen with this, with defense, is definitely Intimidator. you got to have that on gold. Intimidator on gold is going to help you so much around the basket. You're going to have to have it. Now, we'll go with the playmaking. So, you already know Jokic, great passer. He's going to be able to dot people. Hall of Fame diamond right off the bat. You already know what time it is. Next, we're going to go ahead and give him post spin technician on Hall of Fame. We're going to get a quick first step on Hall of Fame. Uh, you could do tight handles, but I don't. I mean, you don't really see him dribbling that much. So we're going to go ahead and go unpluckable right there. Now we're going to go Lob City passer. I think on gold, just because you know, especially with the way 2K plays, you're going to want to have a Lob City passer because people are going to be cutting in. Boom! You got to throw the easy lobs, just like on 2K19. Now you could either go with handles for days if you kind of want to dribble. I wouldn't really recommend it. 
but you can also go space creator which improves that player's ability to create space from a defender that could be good for pole scores to be honest with you so we might put that on gold and then put lob city passer on silver you could have needle threader but again tough passes to get by defense i think that's kind of a I don't think that's going to be the greatest badge just because it doesn't really, it's not too descriptive. But if you guys think of anything else that you would want to have here, maybe like Floor General or something like that, maybe. But like, I think this is going to be a good representation of Jokic. You're going to be able to use these badges very well. So we're going to go ahead and lock that in. Now, lastly, we are going to be here with the shooting. Now, I could go ahead and like max this out the way I, like I think Jokic plays, but you've got to give them Dead Eye on Hall of Fame. You've got to get Deep Fades on Hall of Fame. Uh, you could probably put catch and shoot realistically guys Jokic is more of a catch and shoot player regardless so you could either go gold or silver we'll go gold for right now put pick and popper on gold as well as well as doing range extender at least on bronze i would definitely recommend that if you guys are using you know a big man build that doesn't have like the best shooting but it's still pretty good i would definitely recommend putting range extender because it's going to pop up a lot especially on your mid-range shots and your threes regardless you could probably put on silver if you wanted to so we'll go ahead and look to see what we think we should need on this build now you could do like a green machine i always wanted to test that build or this badge i didn't really know how good it would be so we'll put that on silver i think to start and then we're gonna do we'll go ahead and put range extender on silver quick draw on gold and green machine on gold these are going to be our badges for this build guys let me know what you think about the build. I think it could be very good on offense and defense. I'll show you guys some gameplay and kind of go over the badges later. But again, like I said, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video. But we're going to go ahead and get into the gameplay. And I'll commentate a little bit over when the badges pop up and how I think it will be good in the park. So as the hunt is for the best post-score build still continues, guys, we're trying out another different archetype. We're here with the Nikola Jokic build. Like I said, we're choosing the playmaking and shooting as the max categories. After I figured out what Zach Timmerman told me, which I did mention in my last video, so if you missed that, go check it out. Basically, he said that the post moves just kind of dictates how good your post spins, your drop steps, and how successful they're going to be, but it's not going to dictate how good your shot is. But to be honest with you, if you have a good post spin technician, you have quick first step, and these badges are actually super good for this build, if you can just get these down correctly, post moves is one of the best categories you can have. Now, I understand like a lot of people don't want to put playmaking on because they're missing a lot of their anterior and their uh, posterior defense, and you're not getting as good as finishing around the rim when you max out that with these uh, pie charts. But like I said, when you're kind of like my play style, which I did in 2K19, where you're kind of doing a lot of fades and hop shots and finessing around the rim, this is definitely a build that I think you guys will like. But right here, you can see I'm actually using all my playmaking badges this game, and I also am using a badge that I have not used before, which is going to be green release. A lot of people said that this badge wouldn't be good because if you're already greening shots, you're not going to need it. But I'm telling you guys, I felt like I was greening a whole lot more than I usually would. You can see another green on a post hop shot right there. Deep phase and green machine is definitely a good combination. But like I said, I've got two games. I'm actually using flexible release the second game. This game, I'm not. And I'm not too sure how I like that badge. But like right here, I'm using Unpluckable and Hall of Fame as well. Like I said, this like this build with playmaking all the way maxed out, you can get so many Hall of Fame playmaking badges. And your build is going to be a whole lot quicker. You can see right there, I'm going to be able to pop out a little bit with gold catch and shoot and knock it down man green machine pops up again with silver range extender i honestly do think the combination of this build with the badge that it can get is definitely one of the more overpowered you know actual offensive builds in the game so right here we're going back we're switching up the badges a little bit i'm going to show you guys what i'm using this is still the same build i showed you guys you still get the same nikola Jokic player build again we're going to be using range extender quick draw i'm going to put pick and popper i ended up putting it on bronze and i wanted to try out flexible release right here like i said i want to try out to see if this actually worked i wanted to see if it worked on post fades because i think like i said you missed a lot of post fades i know it's just the demo but i wanted to see if you would be making more whites with this build but again i'm going with this fade away right there the first one i thought the badge would pop up especially when you make a white but for some reason it didn't pop up so i don't know how often it's supposed to be able to actually trigger i i would think it would come up if you make the shot that's white but i didn't find that was the case but again i'm telling you guys you're able to finish around the rim and finesse like how i still like to even though you don't have a lot of the hall of fame finishing badges around the rim but like i said man these fadeaways are still super nasty the hop shots are good too but again flexible release doesn't really help me out right there it does come up a few times but i don't really know if that's going to be a badge that's worth having again i'm fading away it is white 
and I do believe that's the first time it pops up. So if you guys have played with a build with flexible release, like on Hall of Fame, or if you're like a shooting build that has this badge and it actually works for you, let me know in the comment section. I don't know if it's more helpful on the like actual jump shots rather than fadeaways, but like I said, it does pop up for both, but I don't know how successful it really is. Again, we're going the other way. The defense is actually super good on this build as well with having gold intimidator. That's really all you need for the defensive end. Again, we're finessing around in the post. Breakdown punishers or back down punisher is definitely a badge since you only get one is a badge you definitely need to put on this build if you're going to go ahead and plan on it but hopefully like i said ronnie chooses the pie charts that actually can get good playmaking some decent defense some decent offense and still able to have like a 70 something jump shot because that would be super nasty but again i wanted to show you guys a few times of me finishing around the rim because a lot of people doubted if you didn't upgrade a lot of your uh, interior you know offense you were going to be able to score but that's really not the case i'm able to still fade away knock stuff down hit jump shots look how deep that jump shot is silver range extender like i said flexible release it pops up so maybe it is good i think it might be a badge worth having if you have a few leftover categories that you want to upgrade because i think if you put that like on gold or hall of fame i think it will help you out more than it's not going to help you but again we're still doing and ones finishing around the rim again quick first step hit it out to kyle lowry he misses another jump shot right here actually i'm going to do the quick first step again just so fast man these moves with postman technician are so much better i'm definitely going to have to choose a category that has a lot of playmaking now that I played with this build, it helps me out a lot. But look, I got playmaking takeover on the build. I break Kevin, Kevin Looney's ankles just a little bit. Still going to be able to finish with the white guys. But if you did enjoy the video and you do enjoy this player video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. But guys, I've been Dignified and I'm out. Peace.